Hi, Anson Garcia, and today we're going to be testing the Starlink system. Now, I'm getting the typical speeds everybody else is on YouTube, so I'm talking about here in the Houston area, Texas, uh, 120 megabits to 500 megabits down. I'm getting about 40 megabits to 100 megabits up. All right, so within that range, more towards the higher ranges, but there's some glitches and there's some things, I think, when it's changing satellites, rehoning to other satellites, the speeds go down a little bit. So these are typical numbers that I see other people have gotten for the last few months since we've been out of beta. Now, there's about 2,000 satellites up in the air right now, up in lower orbit. And when they're done, they're supposed to have like 42,000. So they're building capacity. So we're still not at the maximum capacity, obviously. All right, uh, Falcon 9 just took off, I think, last Tuesday, another 49. They're testing the inter-satellite communication as well. That's going to be launched pretty soon, too. But what I'm more interested in was this. Okay, so what is it going to do in inclement weather, in very stormy, heavy rain weather? So thankfully, I had a great day of stormy weather. Uh, the only time I would say that that's a great day <laughs> was testing the Starlink in stormy weather. Anyway, so... Uh, you know what I get in clear skies. Let's find out what I got in stormy weather. So let's look at some Starlink stuff real quick. So last Tuesday, um, it's the 31st today, 49 Starlink satellites rode Falcon 9 up to orbit. And uh, this is, I think, the 35th mission, if I'm not mistake, mistaken, dedicated, Falcon 9 dedicated to Starlink, you know, satellites. Now, they're very ambitious, and the math doesn't work out because SpaceX has the desire to launch about 42,000 uh, Starlink satellites. So if you kind of do the math on doing 50 uh, a mission, you know, they're going to have to go way higher. And they have said that they're going to go way higher up to, I think the last I saw was 1,500 to 2,000. Now, each of these things weigh 500 pounds, so that's a lot of cargo on that Falcon 9 uh, rocket. So we'll see how that goes. Also, there was a tweet out by Elon Musk, I think it was by Elon, that the inner satellite links will be lighting up soon. Now, what does that mean? Right now, the, the way the system is working is you have to have a ground station within your sector, and a sector is about, I think it's like 500 miles or something like that, to actually for Space Link to work, or Starlink to work. With these inner satellite links beaming from satellite to satellite, then you're going to increase your density as far as coverage is concerned, is how I understand it. Inter-satellite links also are going to enable the high latitudes, so those latitudes that are closer to the poles and, and furthest away from the equator, and also all the um, over the oceans and things like that, where there is no ground station. Now, uh, talking about millimeter wave, these things use the KU and the KA band. The KU band is at like 12 to 18 gigahertz, and the KA band is way up there, up to 40, 30s to 40 gigahertz using like millimeter wave, what we call in Verizon millimeter wave for our 5G stuff. So let's kind of test this thing out real quick and, and see. The reason I'm doing this testing is raining today. So that's, that's the testing I wanted to do. So let's see what happens. If you're not familiar with the Starlink system, this is the Gen 2. So the Gen 2 unit right here. The Gen 1 unit was like a round dish, your traditional satellite dish. And it had like three legs, you know, something like that. So this one's new. This one's the Gen 2, they call it. It's got four legs, you can see, and it's more uh, rectangle. And it weighs a lot less. I think this one was like 23 pounds, something like that. This one, I forget the numbers, but I want to say it's like 10 pounds. Okay, I already have mine up on my roof over here. I'll show you that in the video here in a second. And basically, the way this thing works is there's a, by default, you get a 75-foot wire. So this is 75-foot. And that goes to the, this is the router, right? And then this router is a uh, Wi-Fi 6 router, okay? And then you can order, the, the Gen 1 actually had an Ethernet port sticking out of here so you could stick it to a switch or something. This one, 
does not. So you have to order a little adapter and that little adapter then goes and then you have uh, you know an RJ45 uh, over here you can plug that into your your own system or maybe you're doing Wi-Fi 6 mesh or something like that you can plug it into your home and then this also has an AC connector adapter there so that's kind of how the system works and uh, how you set it up it's very very easy to set this thing up just real quick I want to I was quite surprised on how this thing sets up. The picture says, you know, go place the little antenna outside, right? You got to be able to see the sky. Here are the clouds up here. And then, you know, run the wire. That wire connects up to the router. Connect the router and then plug it into AC. And then get on your mobile phone and you'll see Starlink. Starlink SSID. You connect up to that SSID. So here it's kind of traditional, you know. The first thing I did is look at the bottom of the router and say, okay, where's my Wi Fi password, my SSID? There's none of that. It's just basically on this little picture, it shows you to go connect up to this SSID. Once you do connect up to the SSID, similar to a, a wireless, when you connect up to your wireless and you get a, a splash page, you know, like on the Meraki's. Um, because splash page comes up and it, what it says is hey you've connected to Starlink what do you want your Wi-Fi SSID to be so you make your own and I you know I made like you know Garcia Starlink or something like that and then it says what are your password what password do you want to use and you put your password in there and after you do that on your on your cell phone here then this guy reboots and gets the new SSID and password and then you just connect up to it. You know, you go to your wireless settings here on your, on your phone here, and you connect up to the, what you just input. And once you connect up there, it does kind of this other little splash page that points you to install the application. So it brings up the App Store. In my case, it was the uh, Play Store. And I installed the application, launched the application, and it connected right to it. I didn't need to know the IP address. I didn't need to know anything. So it was pretty seamless. I have to say the way they did this splash page thing and kind of automated the setup was pretty darn good. Okay, let's take a look. Um, that's kind of what kind of weather we have right now. It's pretty bad. Um, we have kind of a medium rain right now. And uh, I'm going to step out here real quick to show you what we have, show you where the antennas are. Okay, there's the Starlink antenna right there. They're, they're the uh, LT antennas. All right. And here is the Starlink router. So let's see what kind of speeds we get with the uh, Starlink right now. Okay, here is the first test, and I'm on the my Wi-Fi, my Starlink Wi-Fi here. Let's go ahead and go with our first test here. Now it's raining pretty hard. I would say medium, you know, medium good rain. Remember, you saw outside very overcast lots of clouds don't see any peaking sky or sunlight or anything like that so 156 down now uh over the weekend the clear skies i was getting anywhere from 400 all the way to you know 120 180 something like that so those were the typical speeds all right Okay, here goes our second test. It's raining pretty hard now. Let's take a look at what we get. Yeah, there we go. So we have some, I would say that would uh, constitute a disruption of service. Now, we don't know if we're passing over the next satellite or what's going on. Remember, these speeds sometimes are a little inconsistent when you're passing from satellite to satellite. But it's raining pretty hard right now. I would say a good heavy rain. All 
Okay, there you have it. Okay, here goes our third test. Still raining pretty heavy. Let's see what happens now. Okay. I saw 117, 118, 122. And this was more typical over the weekend with clear skies at certain times. Okay, again, I was getting sometimes 400, 500, and 100 up. So there you have it. That's uh, with a heavy rain and very cloudy skies, inclement weather. Okay, test number four. Let's see what we get. One fifty, one fifty eight, one fifty nine. And looks like we're going to stay at uh, right about 14 up. Okay, there you have it. Starlink in inclement weather.